before starting module 1 i would like to ask one question to you that what is the purpose and necessity of studying this subject this question should arises in your mind before studying this subject if you want answer this question you have to answer for the following questions in terms of yes or no have you got enough money to spend on construction have you got ample time for the completion of construction have you got resources that can arrange any amount of desired material to be used in the construction if answer is yes then the study of this subject is useless but if the answer is no then the question arises which are the factors necessitating the study of this subject so for the answer we will start the introduction estimating before undertaking any of the construction project it is necessary to know its probable cost which is work out by estimating hence estimating is nothing but a computation or calculation of the quantities required and expenditure likely to be incurred in the construction of work for its completion or for its satisfactory completion so before taking up any work for its execution the owner or builder should have thorough knowledge about the volume of work that can be completed within the limit of his funds or the probable cost that may be required to complete the proposed work it is necessary to prepare the probable cost or estimate for the proposed work from its plan and specification otherwise what will happen that the work has to be stopped before its completion due to shortage of funds or of materials therefore estimating is very important before taking up any of the construction project costing it is the process of determining the actual cost of the work before the execution of work to procure the required funds for completion of the proposed work that actual cost is called as the costing let's discuss the purpose of estimating number 1 to ascertain the necessary amount of money required by the owner to complete the proposed work so it is necessary to know the approximate cost of proposed work before undertaking project as we know estimate gives an idea of the cost of the project and hence its feasibility can be determined that is whether the project could be taken up within the funds available or not or whether the proposed plan matches the funds available or not in case of funds available are less than the estimated cost then the work is done in the part or by reducing its specification second for government work or public construction work estimate are required in order to obtain administrative approval and technical sanction for allotments of fund for any government work administrative and technical sanction is compulsory and without this the work order is not issued if you want administrative and technical sanction from the competent authority to release the funds estimate is required along with the submission right third to a certain quantities of material required in order to program their timely procurement 
to procure control material such as cement steel sand aggregate etc quantities of such materials are worked out from the estimate of the work it is necessary to prepare the estimate for the proposed work from its plan and specification and also compute the quantity of material such as cement sand aggregate and steel at the various stages of the construction otherwise what will happen that the work has to be stopped before its completion due to the shortage of material according to the program fourth to calculate the number of different categories of worker that is to be employed to complete the work within the scheduled time of completion in the rate analysis on the basis of volume of work we calculate the number of uh, required labor to complete the work within the scheduled time so as we know there are different types of different categories of workers different types of labors that is skill labor semi skill labor and unskill labor so according to volume of work we have to hire the different categories of labor or worker fifth to assess the requirement of tools and plants and different equipments required to complete the work according to the program so it is necessary to know the different equipment required before starting the particular work sixth to fix up the completion period from the volume of work involved in the estimate so on the basis of estimate uh, we can calculate the total duration of the construction seventh to draw up a construction schedule and program and also to arrange the funds required according to the programming eight an estimate for an existing property is required for the valuation purposes so as we know valuation is nothing but the present cost of the property so for the valuation estimate is required ninth to invite tenders and prepare bills for payment so in government work or uh, public construction work it is very important to invite the tenders and prepare the bill for the payment then to justify the investment from benefit cost ratio benefit cost ratio an indicator used to indicate profitability index for the ideal investment benefit cost ratio should be more than 1 if it is less than 1 the contractor will go in loss next purpose of costing number 1 to arrange the finance for proposed work so from the point of owner it is very necessary to arrange the required money for the satisfactory completion of the project second to know the probable cost of the project before the execution of the construction work so as we know costing is nothing but it is the process to determining the actual cost of the work before execution of the work to procure the required funds for the completion of proposed work third costing is required for the valuation of existing property and last one to know the cost of various items of material for procurement in advance which required for the execution of the work
आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस द रिक्वायरमेंट रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर एन एस्टिमेट नंबर वन कंप्लीट सेट ऑफ ड्राइंग्स हैविंग प्लान एलिवेशन एंड सेक्शन फ्रॉम द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स द ड्राइंग शुड बी फुल्ली डायमेंशन and there is no any ambiguity in the drawing if the drawing are not clear and without complete dimension the preparation of estimate becomes very difficult so it is very essential before preparing an estimate that complete set of drawings second detail specification about properties of material and workmanship so specification gives an idea about what proportion of material is to be taken for the construction and what quality and quantity of material is to be used what type of labor is to be used and what type of workmanship is to be required all these things are specified in the specification so it is required for the estimate third standards schedule of rates of the current year so for that at district level a dsr is available dsr means district schedule rate and it is available at district level at every year standard schedule of rate is required for estimate so these are the some requirement for the estimate